All right, spin time. What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another Tesla video. Today I have the Hot Wheels or uh, Tesla Hot Wheels RC car. Uh, so before I open this up and I'm like super excited to see this um, cause I'm kind of low key obsessed with the Cybertruck. I'll show you guys what the box outer box looks like. So you can see here on the front, you can see the controller, you can see the Hot Wheels. Uh, they actually show like a little loop. So apparently this thing can go on a full loop on the other side, it just kind of shows it. Uh, track builder, unlimited. So that means more to someone else than me. And it says, uh, hopefully you guys can see it up here, two ways to play. And it says one and two. I, I don't know what that means. I guess it's, you can go on the track or you can just make it go on the ground by itself. So uh, that is the box for the most part. All right, so I open the side of the box this big thing uh, slid out and there is this uh, Hot Wheels manual that was inside that unfolds and it gives you uh, information about it. It's more of like legality stuff. Uh, so put the manual aside, we have um, the controller and our little Hot Wheels over here at the top. And we're gonna try to disassemble this as best as we can. So this is the Cybertruck unboxed out. And you can see, man, oh man, this thing is massive. Actually, no, I'm just zoomed in. So for size comparison, this is the Cybertruck I made for my dogs. If you haven't seen that video, I recommend you watch it. It was actually a lot of fun. And that is the Hot Wheels RC Cybertruck. Uh, so <laughs> just for size. Uh, so you can see here it is, it's very light. Uh, it does charge through a cable, which is through the back of the controller uh, on this little panel here. And we'll see if I can do it with one hand as I record. Uh, so there is this little cable here that pops out and this plugs into the car. All right, just putting in some batteries in the controller. So let's spin it around here. Uh, they're round, so you think this thing can go uh, in different directions and this one can go in different directions, almost like a video game, uh, but it is stuck on in up and down and left and right. Uh, so you have vertical and horizontal. Uh, they took the design cue from Apple. <laughs> you have to, like the mouse, you, you can't charge it upright. You have to flip it up on his back. So just charging away and we'll test it out when it's done charging. All right, so I have it all charged up. I'm gonna to explain to you what the controls do. Uh, obviously the left one here, uh, right over here, uh, can make it go forwards and backwards. Uh, the right one, you can make it spin. And it's actually like a lot of fun if you spin it. Whee! Okay. <laughs> the middle button here, that's for pairing if you wanna pair it to it. Uh, these two buttons are for alignment. So you can see here, it's going forward. If I align it uh, one way or the other, it, it's like, realigns it tilts and then lastly the top button here is like a boost so if i just tap this once you can see it just goes flying so uh that is pretty much it i think um you don't get you you generally don't get a lot for like 25 dollars, and i'm talking canadian right uh so overall i am pretty happy with it it just uh, maybe i was expecting more but uh it's impressively fast so I have to like let go because I don't want it crashing into the wall. Uh, it does not work well where the ground is not flat. Uh, I tried it on grout and it just didn't work great. Uh, but I gotta say, I'm like impressed by how fast this thing is. All right, so I played around with this for uh, probably like half an hour now. I want to give a proper uh, review or overview. Uh, I gotta say, it is actually a lot of fun. It's very quick. Uh, it doesn't come with like the little track thing, but I can totally see that being like a lot of fun, especially with like kids wanting to race it. Um, for what you pay, it's actually pretty good value. I'm, I wasn't super impressed to begin with, but uh, the more I play around with it and the more I think about it, it actually is good value. I mean, it's Hot Wheels, it's Tesla branded, and you don't get a lot for that kind of money. Uh, the fact that it's light is for speed. Uh, the controller, at first, I wasn't a huge fan of this system, but you get used to it rather quickly. Uh, and it does feel pretty good when it has batteries in it. 
the back and forth uh, calibration, I can see that being important uh, because there's times where the thing just goes flying too quickly and it's because it's left and right is slightly off. And the turbo boost, honestly, I don't even know if you need the turbo boost because of how fast uh, this thing is already. So overall, I'm like impressed with it. Uh, initially, it's like back and forth, but I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, I mean, you're not buying an actual Cybertruck. It's a $25 toy. So just wanted to give that as in uh, like an overview, my review. Uh, the other thing too is the wheels and let's try to get both here. Uh, so the wheels, if I'm holding forwards or backwards, you can see it is only the, the rear wheel that's moving on either side. So these are the only wheels that are moving around. Uh, they're also the only ones that have rubber. So the front wheels do not have rubber, only the back ones do, and uh, only the back ones are moving with the motor. So no all wheel drive, dual motor here or tri-motor, you only get the one. And also interesting, even though the thing turns crazy, uh, the wheels don't actually move. There's no like proper left or right, and the front ones don't move. So they're only going straight. So it's just li literally torque that's uh, turning the thing around. So anyway, I thought I'd include that. Uh, pretty cool. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what your thoughts are. Did you guys get one? Or do you have one on order? Or do you have one of the big ones on order? Uh, just let me know what your thoughts are down below. If you guys want to win one, make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel. Like the video if you enjoyed it. And most importantly, thanks for watching and I will see you guys next time.